Microsoft Access video manipulating the address strings to the requirements of a particular customer. I saw this question and I realised that a technique I've been demonstrating in some of my other videos uh, would uh, apply to this question and would be one way of solving the problem. So I've used one of my boilerplate uh, databases and I've added just some fictitious address information here uh, with these in and these forms here I've set the, them up this is actually that one the form main and these are the tables this is this table holds this data and this holds this data there's nothing in there at the moment so if I press go you can see it's transferred those two address is address one and two into this new table and I'll show you the code that does that basically use this select statement to take the code out of the master table put this data into a record set through here so there's the SQL string from here this is the record set and then you loop through this record set takes address 1 and address 2 and passes them into these uh, text variables, string variables here and here and then pass these strings into this insert function which is up here and basically that's the gubbins of it the rest is error code really uh, all it does is insert address 1 and address 2 into the table new address so now I'm showing you the code, I'll just uh, run through this again. I'll clear this out with the clear button and press run again, we'll go. And it's just shifted all the data from those fields in that table to that table. So that's that table and that's that table. Showing you the code again. So as you can see, we've grabbed the contents of the field. So now we can interrogate that uh, field and we can have a look see what's in there and then we could change our decision on where to put these depending on the results we get so what do we want to do well the op wants to know if text address one has got a number in it if it's got a number in it then it should be appended to text address two so that's our first task let's see if we can discover what's in text address one well there's a function called uh, is numeric so if we go if is numeric and we want text address one so that returns true so it's an if statement so if that's true then what do we want to do then well let's say let's make text address 1 equal yes now if we run the code just to save it and debug make sure it's ok close this window open the form again run the code and we've got yes so where it's 30 we've got a yes where it's 56 we've got a yes and uh, so that's working as we expected now we need to append text 1 and text 2 together when text 1 is numeric and uh, I'll um, I'll write the code for that there's no need you say watching me do that I'll quickly do that and then show you right this is the code um, so it checks to see if text address one is numeric if it is we don't want anything in it so we set it to uh, an empty string and we want the second column address two to contain a concatenation of address one and address two so the and signs there concatenate it and that just adds a space in between them and if it's not numeric we want everything to be like it was before so we just want string one to be address one 
an address too. And if uh, we debug, save, close, close, go. And there we've got address two with 30 Avon Way, uh, White House, Suffolk Road, 56 Suffolk Road, like that. Okay, thank you.